Kuzang Bola. Welcome to Bhutan e-learning project. My name is Nima Sring, and I'm a teacher of Khasabchu Middle Secondary School. Today, I'm going to take you through a geography lesson, Key Stage 3 for classes 7 and 8 on the topic Hazard and Disaster. Before I start my lesson, I have some lesson objectives. By the end of this video lesson, you should be able to distinguish between hazard and disaster, discuss causes and effects of disasters, suggest measures to mitigate disasters, and exhibit life-saving skills during disaster. Now, let us start our lesson. Are you all ready? What is hazard and disaster? Hazard and disaster are closely interlinked and sometimes used synonymously. Yet, they are quite distinct from each other. The word hazard, it is derived from the French word hazard, meaning chance. Hazards are events that have potential to cause harm to human lives and properties. A hazard is a situation where there is a threat to life, health, environment, or property. And there are two types of hazards. They are natural hazards, such as earthquake, volcanic eruption, flood, windstorms, landslide, and drought. And the second type of hazard is human-induced hazards or human-made hazards such as fire, weak structures, accidents, war, and nuclear explosions. Now, what is disaster? The term disaster is derived from French word disaster, which is a combination of two words, des meaning bat and star meaning star. A disaster is any hazardous event that causes damage to lives and properties. A disaster is an event that completely disrupts the normal ways of a community. And disasters are further classified into two types. They are natural disasters and human-induced disasters. So natural disasters, examples, earthquake, flood, windstorm, landslides. And examples of human-induced disasters are fire, collapse of buildings, and industrial accidents. Did you all understand what is hazard and disaster? Well, now let us try to differentiate hazard and disaster. What are differences between hazard and disaster? Hazard is a threat in the natural and human environment that has potential to affect lives and properties, while disaster is an event that causes serious disturbance to functioning of a society. Hazard is a phenomenon that creates risks to people and properties, but disaster is sudden event that affects lives and properties. Hazard is a danger or chance, while disaster is catastrophe or calamity. Now, let us learn causes and effects of disaster. Bhutan has been frequently experience, experiencing disasters such as earthquake, floods, landslides due to location and terrain.
So now let us learn some of the common disasters, their causes and effects. So before uh, we learn some of the disasters, their effects and uh, causes, so let us solve a riddle. And the riddle is, I have the ability to shake the earth anytime. I can cause buildings to collapse and harm people. Who am I? Can you all guess? It is none other than Mr. Earthquake. So with this, so the first natural disaster that we are going to learn is earthquake. What is earthquake? What are their causes and their effects? Earthquake simply means the shaking of the earth surface. A severe earthquake leads to destructions like loss of lives, properties, landslides, floods, and tsunami in coastal areas. Bhutan is located in the Himalayan region where there is high chance of risk of earthquake. Bhutan experienced severe earthquakes in the year 2009 and 2011, which has claimed lives and damaged properties. The next disaster is flash flood. Flash flood is also a natural disaster. So flash flood occurs when there is continuous heavy rainfall, outbursts of lakes and dams. Floods generally occur in monsoon season. So flood leads to loss of cultivable land, livestock, destruction to settlements, and health hazards due to waterborne diseases. Floods claim thousands of lives every year and make millions homeless. Well, before we move to next disaster, Again, I have a riddle for you to solve. And here it goes. Give me food and I will live. Give me water and I will die. What am I? Can you all guess? I am none other than fire. So the next disaster is fire. Fire usually destroys forest resources, human settlements, and lives. Sometimes fire is caused by natural factors like lightning, but most fire disasters are caused by human negligence or human carelessness, accidents, and deliberate actions. For example, Fire at Ha in the year 2009, fire at Chamka Town in the year 2010 and 2011, fire at Wamrong Town in the year 2009, and fire at Mongar in the year 2016 are examples of fire disasters. And the next disaster we are going to learn is landslide. Landslide is mainly caused by heavy rainfall, rapid flow of rivers and streams, use of explosive for construction, forest degradation, forest fire, earthquake, and loose soil. So these are some of the causes of landslides. And landslides are common on steep slopes and in places 
they receive long periods of intense or heavy rainfall. Landslide leads to property damage, injury, and death. Bhutan is prone to landslide every summer because of location and topography. Before we discuss the next disaster, I have a riddle for you. Here it goes. Sometimes I'm gentle and sometimes I'm strong. I remove roofs of houses and destroy crops when I'm strong. Who am I? I am none other than Winstrom. So the next disaster is Winstrom. Winstrom is high speed of wind followed by lightning and thunder. In Bhutan, thunderstorms are more common during monsoon and often related to landslides and floods. So during windstorm, the roofs of houses are blown off and damaged crops. It also intensifies the spread of forest fires. So during windstorm, there are high chances of forest fires. And the next disaster we have is coronavirus, which is also known as COVID-19. So it is also a disaster. So coronavirus disease or COVID-19, it is an infectious disease caused by a newly discovered coronavirus. The disease causes respiratory-related illness like the flu, and the symptoms of coronavirus are cough, fever, and in more severe cases, difficulty breathing. Older people and those with underlying medical problems like cardiovascular disease, diabetes, chronic respiratory disease, and cancer are more likely to develop serious illness. As of April 2nd, 2019, the world has recorded 936,000 436 cases of coronavirus, out of which 47,251 people lost their lives. And 194,585 people recovered from the virus. And in Bhutan, as of April 2, Five coronavirus cases have been uh, recorded. Uh, there is currently no vaccine to prevent coronavirus disease. You can protect yourself and help prevent spreading the virus to others. If you do, wash your hands regularly for 20 seconds with soap and water or alcohol-based hand rub. Cover your nose and mouth with a disposable tissue or flex elbow when you cough or sneeze. Avoid close contact. At least keep one, or one meter or three feet with people who are unwell. Stay home and self-isolate from others in the household if you feel unwell. And don't, don't touch your eyes, your nose, your mouth, if your hands are not clean. So these are some of the measures to prevent coronavirus. Well, that's all regarding the natural disaster, their causes and effects. 
So in the next topic, we have disaster management. What do you understand by disaster management? Why disaster management is important? Disaster management refers to planning, organizing, and managing resources for reducing the impact of disaster. Disaster management team coordinates humanitarian aspects of emergencies such as mitigation, preparedness, response, and recovery. However, it is very important that every individual take responsibility to manage disaster. And in order to understand more about the disaster management, let me explain disaster management cycle. So in the disaster management cycle, we have preparation or that is preparedness before the disaster or event, then after the event, response, then after response, recovery, then after recovery, mitigation. So let me explain the disaster management cycle. So the first disaster management we have is preparedness. Preparedness is a measure taken to prepare for and reduce the effects of disaster. It is an ability of oneself to respond to possible disaster and prevent it. Lack of awareness and preparedness during disaster can result in casualties. For example, mock drill for an earthquake. And the second disaster management is response. Response is an immediate reaction during and after disaster to minimize the impact of disaster. Response plans are important component for the safety of workplace during emergencies. For example, emergency medical services, search and rescue and providing temporary sheets during disaster. And the third disaster management is recovery. So recovery means bringing back to the normal situation or condition. And recovery includes restoration and reconstruction in the disaster affected areas. For example, financial aid and emotional supports are basic recovery measures. And the fourth disaster management is mitigation. Mitigation is an effort to reduce the loss of life and properties and the impact of disaster. It deals with the risk reduction, mitigation and preparedness and creates general awareness, education on disaster risks and hazards. It is taking action before the next disaster. For example, construction of river embankments, mainly to prevent or prepare for the flood. Finally, let us learn some disaster preparedness tips. Identify the potential hazards that are present in your area. Prepare a disaster plan. It should be having somewhere safe to go and discuss who can guide well with the plan. You need to have a good communications and evacuation plan. And you need to practice the steps that are needed to disconnect home gas, water, and electricity. Make sure to regularly check safety devices at home and school, such as smoke alarm and fire extinguishers. Keep the first aid box readily available. Keep a record of emergency numbers, such as fire, 
traffic police, ambulance, police, and National Emergency Operation Center. With this, we have come to the end of the lesson. So far, we have learned what is hazard and disaster, causes and effects of hazard and disasters, and disaster management. And I have some questions for you to solve. So the first question is, identify a common disaster in the place where you live and explain it. Second question, prevention is better than cure. How is this statement relevant in disaster management? And the third question is, how can you protect yourself and help spreading the coronavirus to others? Write at least five important steps or measures. So with this, thank you and see you in the next lesson.